when we're looking at who to blame for what's happened, we got to look at ourselves. We have sat here with apathy, disinterest, and distraction for years. And that is what has happened right under our very noses. But it did take a pandemic to start to rouse us from our sleep. Executive Director of the Fight for Schools PAC, Ian Pryor, speaking out against critical race theory at a Saturday rally. He's one of the parents leading the fight against CRT in Loudoun County, Virginia, where students have just two days left in their school year. Ian joins us now for an update. Good afternoon, Ian. Good afternoon, Mike. So the school year ends Tuesday in Loudoun County. Does the issue heat up or cool off during the summer break? Well, I think it will continue to heat up. And, you know, as I said at the rally yesterday, you know, I may be the captain of, of Fight for Schools, but a captain is only as good as, as his battalion. And I've got a battalion that is, consists of an army of moms that are literally out there all day, every day, getting signatures, hosting events to get signatures. You know, they'll, they'll probably be able to watch this later because they are busy right now walking door to door. And I don't see that stopping in the summer. I actually see it heating up. I've been out there a lot in Loudoun County. I've been struck by the passion of a lot of the parents, uh, the army of moms you reference. Um, do you expect that they will be successful in potentially uh, recalling members of the school board, or how does that play out? Yeah, I do think we will be successful. You know, we, we reached 60% of the threshold for one of the school board members last week. Now, we haven't counted since last week, but petition signatures have been coming in by the droves. Um, and, you know, and every time there's a school board meeting, a new hero is born, whether it's Chantel Cooper, or Lilith Van Etzayan, uh, G. Van Fleet. They are coming out there. They are giving passionate speeches that explain their perspective and is really lighting a fire under parents. And it's not just Republicans. It's Republicans. It's independents. It's Democrats. One of the things that's so interesting to me is how the tie that binds people, you know, people are destroyed distracted with labels, right? You, you voted for this person, mm -hmm. you're a Republican, you're a Democrat. But the tie that binds all of us is our children. And I have talked to so many Democrats. We have Democrats in our leadership structure. And I really think when the history of this whole movement is written, you're going to have a coalition of parents that put their political differences aside to assure educational excellence in America for the future. Loudoun County Public Schools is fighting the injunction allowing suspended teacher Tanner Cross to return to the classroom while the case is further litigated, Cross expressed his religious beliefs about proposed transgender polity, and he was suspended from his teaching job. Are you surprised the school district is fighting his return to school? No, I, I'm not surprised in the least that the school district is fighting his return. I mean, they apparently didn't get the vicious slapdown they got from the court that said, you violated his First Amendment rights and you were vindictive in doing so. But, you know, this school board likes to double down on its ridiculous policies and its ridiculous decisions. So now they're appealing it to the Supreme Court of Virginia with our tax dollars in an attempt to silence a teacher's ability to go before the school board during open comment and exercise his First Amendment rights. We saw a packed house the other night for a school board meeting in Loudoun County, Virginia. Um, do you think the school board got the message? Do you think there will be any concrete action to come from it, or do you have to continue the fight? Well, so far, it doesn't seem like most of the school board is getting the message. You know, every, every two weeks, more and more parents show up. More and more parents speak their mind. Yet all we hear from the school board is the same, you know, it's a small minority of parents spreading misinformation. Not true. We just got a poll. 50% and by a margin of 20 points of parents in Loudoun County or residents in Loudoun County support the recall effort. That includes overwhelming numbers from Republicans and independents and a pretty significant amount of Democrats that support it as well. So if they continue to ignore our parents, if they continue to ignore or strike First Amendment rights from, from their plans, I guess, uh, they will find themselves out of a job. We've seen some states banning the teaching of critical race theory. How big is this fight in Loudoun County in terms of the rest of the country? Well, I think Loudoun County is really ground zero for this fight. I mean, we have dozens of savvy parents that know what they're doing, that understand what this means, what this is about. This literally is a spark, and we are lighting a fire across the nation, and parents are rising up any, everywhere. And I would say to the parents that are doing this, don't, don't, be conf you know, don't look at labels and say, well, this person's a Democrat, so I can't work with them. No, that is absolutely not true. I've worked with dozens of Democrats on this movement. They are all committed to one thing, educational excellence for their children, for their grandchildren, and they want to be sure that these children are raised in a way where they will be compassionate to all human beings, regardless of race, color, religion, sexual 
school orientation. But what we want to have is a seat at the table where parents can have a say on how their children are educated. And I think we're going to get it done. Ian Pryor, fascinating fight. Thanks so much. Thanks, Mike.